Hello everyone, my name is Kenton Cabescu. I'm an ex-BCG consultant, an ex-Googler, and the founder of Rocketblox, an online platform that helps students prepare for job interviews. In today's Rocketblox mini lesson, we're going to be doing part two on a series of how to approach preparing for case interviews. In the first part, which came out a few weeks ago, we talked about a high level strategy. What type of activity should you be doing? What's the right mix between skill building and level setting and testing your abilities in real live mock interviews. So if you haven't watched that yet, I'd recommend going ahead and checking that out first. We've got a link in the um, comments down below, so check that out. If you've already seen that, what we're going to do today in part two is we're gonna get really tactical and we're gonna look at different timelines for preparing for case interviews. And we'll actually look at a six month window, a three month window, and a one month window and talk about if you're working on those different time frames. How much prep should you be doing? What should you be looking to do on a weekly basis in terms of skill building and mock interviews? And we'll go through what that actually looks like and then we'll link to some detailed plans as well that you can use as a reference. And then in part three, upcoming in a few weeks, what we're gonna do is regardless of which of those timelines you're working on, we're gonna go over a few just kind of daily tactics and things that you can build into your routine so whether you're preparing for one month or three months you can find little extra things to do in any given day that are going to help you prepare for your case interviews so let's go ahead and get started okay so there's one thing i want to call out before we jump in and review each of the individual preparation plans and that is Think about which style is best suited to how you prepare. Some people work really great under pressure, so shorter time frames are good for them because it focuses them and really gets them just hammering home on what they need to do in that specific window of time. If you're that type of person, maybe a one month preparation plan is best. Some people are on the reverse end of the spectrum. They really like to dive in deeply. They like to take their time. They want to know that they've got enough time to kind of brush up on the areas they need help on. And that's totally fine. The reason we're going over three different types of plans is because different people have different personal styles and that's totally okay. The only thing you should thinking, be thinking about is which personal plan suits you the best for your style and then go with that. There's not one that's right or wrong or one that's better than the others. So let's jump in and take a look at the plans. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with taking a look at the six month plan. If you end up using this plan, you'll do about 100 hours of skill building over the next six months that you're preparing and just under 40 mock cases, which is a really good solid amount of preparation in both of those different types, individual skill building and mock interviews. We get to test all those different skills and see how they get deployed in a real job interview scenario. So, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna put the plan on screen so you can look through it in detail. You can see kind of each month by month, and then we're gonna talk through the key details. And then of course, we'll also put a link to the plan details so you can kind of read and follow up on them as a reference. So let's put up the plan now. Okay, so some of the key details about this plan that I wanna call out is you'll notice there are really two tracks. There's the skill building exercises and there's doing mock interviews. And if you look at how they are spread out over the six months, you'll see that it's kind of like two sliding scales. You start out really heavying up on the skill building exercises, doing about 20 hours of those a month in the first month. And then as you get further along, you spend less time doing individual skill building but the reverse happens with mock interviews. So you do very few in the initial months and then you start building up and doing more and more in the later months. So you do two mock interviews in the first month and 12 mock interviews in the last month. Now the rationale for handling the things this way is that the skills are the fundamental building blocks to succeeding in the interviews. So what you wanna do is you want to start building those skills early in the six month plan reinforcing, honing those skills, getting them to a good spot. And you want to occasionally check in and do mock interviews and just make sure that when you do put those skills to use in the mock interview scenario, you're able to deploy them effectively. You just kind of see how they work in context. But you don't want to start just doing a bunch of mock interviews immediately 
because if your skills are a little rusty um, or those mock interviews aren't going well, you're just going to get into a cadence of trying to do a bunch of different mocks over and over again, but you're not going to be getting any real value out of them. So really what you want to do, especially in those early months, is a lot of the skill building exercises, check in, do a few mock interviews in the beginning months, and you start ramping up again through this plan. And as you do each of those mock interviews, you're going to be assessing where you are on each of your individual skills and then use your upcoming skill building time during the week to get better at those skills, especially the ones where you're struggling the most. So that's roughly what a six month plan would look like. Again, you know, your schedule is going to vary a little bit, so you're going to want to kind of tweak it and maybe you need a little more time or a little less time, or there's going to be two weeks vacation in there in the middle, so you kind of break it up and extend it a little bit. That's totally fine. This is really just kind of a straw man to give you a sense of what would it look like if I had six months to prepare, how should I allocate my time between skill building and mock interviews, and what do those ramp ups look like? Okay. Let's talk about the three month plan now. The big thing to address upfront is there's just a big change between going from a six month time window to a three month time window. So you lose half the time, but what we would recommend doing is amping up the, the pace at which you're doing both your skill building exercises and your mock interviews so that you can get around about 75% as much prep that you do in the more leisurely six month window in a three month time frame as well. So this is what the plan would look like. Let's take a look at it and then we'll talk through the key details. Okay, so in the three month plan, now you've taken a look at it, there's a few things to call out here. One, you'll notice that the skill building doesn't ratchet down on a sliding scale like it did in the six month window. One of the big differences between the six month and three month is that you get a lot of time up front in the six month window to build skills. And then hopefully over time, once you're in months four, five, and six, you can really focus a little more on mock cases. In the three month window, because the time is condensed, you don't really have that luxury. And since skill building and the skills that you use in these interviews really are the fundamental building blocks, we suggest keeping the amount of skill building time consistent through each month with a slightly more amount in the first month, kind of heavy up it a little bit on the first month, but then get 20 hours in month two and three as well. But similarly to the six month plan, we do still recommend ratcheting up the mock interviews over time. And again, it's for the same reason. When you start out, you wanna make sure that you're getting the skills right. You wanna make sure that you kind of understand the context will be deployed in a mock interview but you don't want to just go do as many mock interviews as possible initially. It's really nice to kind of let them build up, make sure your skills are improving more and more and more so that by the time you're doing, you know, two or three mock interviews a week, your skills are in really good shape. And so the three month plan is designed to ramp up mock interviews in the same way as we go month to month to month, but to really keep the skill building consistent throughout, because again, they are so important and your timeline is now a little more condensed. Okay, so now we're at the one month prep plan. And at this point, we're kind of at an all out preparation sprint before that case interview day comes up. And the key thing to think about when you look at this plan, when we put it up, is trying to prevent people from actually burning out on case interview prep. The challenge is when you have a month, it's not a ton of time. If you sit down and you start trying to do three, four, or five hours a day, by the time you get to the actual interview day, you might be so burnt out on the stuff, you're not gonna have any fun and it's really gonna kind of show through. So let's take a look at the plan and then again, we'll talk through some of the key details. Okay, so in this plan, really you see that the pace that we're starting out is a very different. Instead of talking about what we're gonna do on a month basis, we're now talking about each given week. And instead of the six month plan where we were going to do 20 hours of skill building that first month, we're talking about doing 10 hours in the first week alone. So the pace is really different. And that's to help you get in some of the skill building exercise, again, especially upfront, the skill building that we're talking about is doing 10 hours the first week, 10 hours the second week, 
and then shifting to five in weeks three and four. So again, you kind of heavy up on the skill building up front. It's for the same reasons we talked about in the six month and the three month preparation plan. It's just now crammed into a much smaller time period. And then same logic on the mock interviews. You're gonna to wanna to start out doing a few of them a week and then ramp up to doing one a day. So you're gonna to get to quite a kind of frantic pace toward the end. But again, the logic is the same, that don't start out by trying to do one mock interview a day in the beginning. Make sure you get your skills in order and then slowly start testing them in mock interviews to just make sure you understand the context and you're deploying, deploying those skills correctly in the mock interviews. But basically at this point, you're really, you're really trying to move quickly or ramping up quickly from week to week um, in the mock interviews. And hopefully you can kind of pull everything together and make it work. Again, this is a straw man. So depending on how you're feeling on different skills and mock interviews, think about kind of tweaking up or tweaking down. This is you know, a loose plan that you can use to kind of mold as you see fit. Okay, so we've talked about three different templates for preparing for your case interviews and different timelines that you can use. There's two last tips I want to leave you with. The first is really think about those different timelines we talked about and consider which is best for your personal learning style. Some people really do learn best when they're under intense pressure, uh, time pressure, stress, etc. So if that's you, Picking something like a one month plan might be a great way to prepare for these interviews. Other people are on the flip side of that spectrum. They really want to know that they've got the time to do their due diligence, to build skills as necessary, to learn the whole process. And if that's you, that's totally fine too. Just make sure that you give yourself something on the longer end of the spectrum, like the three month or the six month plan for that. The second thing is think of these plans as straw men. You shouldn't just take one of these plans off the shelf and use it, and you could, but for a lot of folks, there's going to be small little tweaks they need to make to it, and that's totally fine. Some people might need a little more skill building up front or still need to do a little more skill building at the end of the process, or they might need a few mock interviews to give them a little more context in the beginning. You can definitely tweak these plans, and we would encourage you to do that a little bit. You should use them as straw men as a jumping off point to plan your own preparation plan. So that's a wrap for the different uh, templates for preparation. In part three of this series, we're going to talk about little things you can add to your daily routine to help so that you're kind of constantly preparing for cases in the back of your mind in a nice way that's going to reinforce those skills that you are uh, building in your active case preparation time. So that'll be part three. That's coming out shortly. Thank you again for watching this video. We've got lots of content coming out weekly on the case interview preparation process. So if you haven't subscribed yet already, there's a big red button below. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.